Hey guys, this is Eclipse Gaming KSP, and believe it or not, I am not uploading on a Saturday. It's amazing. I am uploading on a Tuesday. And that's because it's just a random little video showing something off I figured out how to do. Um, so obviously this is just a little test bed plane I made. Nothing unusual about it. Other than this one thing. Which, um, I should be able to show you here in just a second. Check that out. It's got swing wings. Like you would find on the F-14. You know, the Tomcat. Or like, a couple of those MiGs. I think it's the MiG-23 and MiG-27. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's got swing wings and Kerbal Space Program. Completely stock. The only mod this plane uses is, I think, Raster Pro Monitor, and even that's not necessary. It's pretty cool. And you can see it obviously uses landing gear there to do um, its stuff. It's, I mean, it's just a regular little plane, except for that, just got swing wings, which I figured was really interesting when I figured out how to do that. So, um, I figured I'd show it to you guys. Hey guys, how many times can you figure it in one sentence? Um, let's go over here and buzz the tower. Good old KSP tradition. Everybody does that. And knife edge. Whew. Awesome. Now I'll pull up. It's not as maneuverable with the, um, wings back, but it's, uh, faster, believe it or not. Notice my nice, um, landing navigation thingies there. I don't even know where this came from, so don't ask me. But anyway, yeah, we're down. So, yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I figured out how to make swing wings in Curl Space Program. I still can't get over the fact I need to do that. Of course, it's rather complicated. You can see the landing gear folds out and it pushes the wings back. Boing. <laughs> I like how you just, like, you release it and they just, like, spring back into position. It's great. Okay, we're off. Let's go over here and fly by the VAB or something. So yeah, there you go. I guess I should show you how to make it though, so um, I'll see you in the space plane hangar. Hello. So um, you just start by putting the landing gear there and angle it the right way, but I'm not going to do this whole thing this speed because it's really slow, so I'll speed it up a bit um, to twice as fast, I think. And you can watch it that speed. I'll still provide commentary though, so yeah. Um, just get that, um, make sure it's levelish. Place it where you need to. Um, then you go over to the engines section. The engines section. Engines? Engines, there you go. <laughs> I'm really bad at finding engines. Um, then you flip it around so it's vertical and um, perpendicular to the ground. Um, you just get it there. There, it looks good. Then you get another one. Another one. Another one. And you put it on so it's not quite centered. You have the snap thing on. It's not quite centered. It's one notch to the back. You do it that way. Slide it up a tad so there so it's level. Um, then you get your wing. I'm using the standard swing wing that's been in the game forever. Not forever, but you know what I mean. And I'm just placing it on there. These engines are going to act kind of like a hinge. It will allow the wings to sweep back. And then the landing gear is the thing that's going to push them back. I use the heavy gear, not the regular gear, it's the LT2. Um, that's relatively important that you remember that. Just kind of, you know. Now I'm just messing with placement so I get everything placed right because that's usually the thing that takes the longest. I use the offset tool which I find immensely helpful. I love all these new tools. Um, so once you have everything placed right, um, I think that's good. Actually no, I'm, I ended up ultimately deciding to slide the wing forward and then slide the whole uh, swing assembly back other than the landing gear. But um... Yeah, like that, and then down tad, there you go. Save. Now we just go over here and grab a couple control surfaces, place them on there, and we're done. So yeah. Well, I mean, obviously not done with the whole plane, we had to do landing gear and a tail and everything, but done with the swing wing assembly. Now, 
it did take a bit more tweaking. I just didn't show you because I didn't want to bore you all to death. Um, so don't be surprised if you have to do a lot of tweaking. Um, that took a while. But anyway, here we go. We're taking off. Putting the landing gear in. And, wow, this is maneuverable. This is great. Um, inside the cockpit, there's not really much to see right now. Anyway, look, pull the 10 Gs there. This is insane. So, um, we turn the plane around here and get it nice and fast and then get the wings back. And there you go. Going nice and fast. Um, wings forward, wings back. Yep, yeah, works pretty well. And let's see, oop, maybe I spoke too soon. It broke. I'm not sure what happened there. I think I may have done um, something. Uh, maybe I pulled back too hard while the wings were like that. Who knows? Maybe I'll never find out. But anyway, let's aim the plane down a little. Jeez, this thing pulls so many G's. Um. Uh, um. Uh, what just happened? Did I just break the plane? I just broke the plane. Well, now what? Do we, like, uh... This thing doesn't glide too well now that I've lost most of my wings. Let's eject. Um... Yeah. Well, that went well. So it's obviously not perfect. But it's definitely workable. It's definitely workable. Um... It it's gonna use some improvement. This is just like, you know, the um, proof of concept video. Um, but, yeah. Hmm. This thing has a lot of lift, too. <laughs> just like floating around here with no engine. It's not an infinity glider, but it's somewhat close. Let's see. Can we clear this? Yeah, we can. Now let's go over here. <laughs> this is insane. But anyway, yeah, it works pretty well. Notice one of my wings is back and one of them's forward. I don't know why I did that. But, um, can we clear this? No. Well, anyhow, I broke it, but now you can see. So I can show you how it works. Um. Well, let's see. Let's retract that gear so you can see. The way it works is, um, the little engines act as a hinge, allowing the wing to swing back. The landing gear is the force that pushes the wing back. And if you have it all lined up correctly, you end up with a swing wing. Now, I tried it with locked suspension, and it works, but not as well. So keep the suspension unlocked. Um, but yeah. So there you go. A nice little video by me, or maybe not so nice. I don't know. Um, I've been Eclipse Gaming KSP, and until next time, explode responsibly. See ya.